Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce the audio spectrogram transformer or AST in short. The main motivation of this research is we want to create a new audio classification model. Historically, people use handcrafted features and non new network based methods. And since 2015, most efforts started using CNN models to directly map raw spectrogram or waveform to labels. And more recently, attention models are used in conjunction with CNNs to better capture long range global context. We call these models CNN attention hybrid models. However, we asked the question in this paper that if the reliance of CNNs are still necessary when we have a very strong attention model. To answer this question, we propose the audio spectrogram transformer, the first convolution free co attention based model for audio classification. Here on the left side, I'm showing a CNN attention hybrid model. As we can see, the spectrogram is first input to the uh, computer neural network, and then optionally feed to the attention model to get prediction. And on the right side is the proposed AST model. Of course, it's easy to replace the attention model with transformer, and has been done by a previous work here. But what we did in this work is we replaced the entire CN attached model with the transformer. In order to do that, we split the spectrogram into 16 by 16 patches, and then use the patch embedding layer to map the 3D patch to a 1D token vector, and then input the token vector to the transformer. Let's take a detailed look into the AST model. We split the spectrogram to 16 by 16 patches with overlap and convert to 1D vector using a linear projection layer. We also work on the CLS token and the positional embedding. We then input the token vectors to the image net pre-trained transformer encoder and use the output of the CLS token as the audio representation. And finally use a linear layer to classify the spectrogram. This idea is get from the vision transformer or VIT which got a lot of attention in the previous year. So the, why, why use AST? We think there are some reasons. First, it provides planar inductive bias and it has larger receptive field at the first layer. Also, it naturally supports variable length input and provides super performance. Finally, it also converges faster than CRN. We have released a code on GitHub Please check it if you're interested. Thank you for your time.